So if you're a family and you are thinking of moving in 2023, these are my three golden nugget tips for any families looking to move. Number one, blatantly obvious, but this is around finances and in detail, some of the finance things that you need to be aware of. If you've got a mortgage on your current property that you're looking to sell, remember there is a redemption penalty. If you're still in that fixed term, you will have a redemption penalty. So the two ways to get around this is either to sell after your fixed term comes to an end or try and juggle it somewhere in the middle, or you could potentially look at porting and doing a top up on your next mortgage. That's the first tip on mortgages. Next one on finances is to remember stamp duty. Now the stamp duty land tax has changed a couple of times recently. So it's very important, it's not a calculation you can just do off the bat now, to go on one of the websites and make sure it's up to date before you do your calculation on stamp duty land tax. What are you expecting to buy at? Run that calculation, depending on whether you've got two properties, if you are a first time buyer, if you're not selling, these will all have an impact as well based around that stamp duty level. And the third thing to think about is, if you go to a good mortgage advisor, they will give you a fact and finance finding sheet. I think this is a great way to make sure, especially with how things are with cost of living at the moment, that you can afford the property you're moving into. So you can look at things like council tax, what's gonna happen with your car insurance, is that gonna raise utilities, and obviously shopping expenses. And of course, you don't just wanna live in a home, you want to be able to have holidays with your family too. So my three tips around finances. My second main tip for you is around creating a general generational house. Now I've seen time and time again when people have moved, especially with families, and they've had to move again quicker than they first thought. So when you're planning your, your move around your next property, generationally make sure that the area and the property works for you. Do you need an extra bedroom? Do you need that home office downstairs? Is the garage convertible? Is the garden gonna be big enough? And have you got the space to extend over the garage if you think that's something you may need? How many bathrooms are in the property and will you need one more down the line? Also think about secondary schools, primary schools. If you haven't got children yet, Will you need a good primary school around you? And if your kids are in primary schools, what's the secondary school? That's gonna make a big impact. Also think about amenities. As your kids grow up and they become teenagers and free spirits and want to get around themselves, can they walk to a bus station? Can they walk to the train station to get somewhere? These are all things that make a big difference when you're looking at a home that is gonna be suitable generationally. Number three, my last golden tip for you if you're a family on the move in 2023, is to think about viewing times. Think about viewing times for the property you're selling and think about viewing times for the properties you're going to look at. I know full well from having two young daughters, time is not something on our side as parents, especially when we're looking to move home. So it's really important you set guidelines around when you're gonna accept viewings on your own property, Obviously at tea time and school runs, it's just not gonna work. So set those expectations with your estate agent. And also think about times when you're gonna be able to view your own properties, specifically on the weekends and things like that are gonna become really important. So bring those viewing commitments into your diary slot. They are my three top tips for families that are looking to move home in 2023. If you've got any more questions for us, we're always available for your contact. And if you're selling in the south of England and you want some help with a property valuation, from a bespoke agent that's going to give you a no BS approach to selling your home and of course pricing, then please follow Avocado and use any of the links below to get in contact with us. Thanks for watching the video.